Hi, I'm Jeff Johnson, and this is The Takeaway. This is The Takeaway, recorded June 19, 2016, Father's Day. Making Steps Count, Session 6. Hi there, my name is Jeff Johnson and we've just experienced a fantastic Father's Day. I, I tease my folks all the time at the church saying this is the biggest holiday event of the year. Well, while that's not true, uh, we've tried to make it a very special event for our men and we've had a great time today. We've, we've been out golfing, we've been out fishing, we had a wonderful service outdoor, we served them breakfast and it was fantastic. And we had this one theme in mind that men should be strong. See, we live in a day and age now where it's almost a dirty word to say that men are strong. And we, we have this idea of equality, and, and sometimes when we talk about equality, we're talking about being equally weak. You know, the truth of the matter is, is God has made all of us to be strong in one way or another, whether male or female. It matters not. We all have a strength. And in regards to men, we also have something that we, we, we rely on and dream about. We want to be physically strong as well. I grew up on wide world of sports on on Saturday afternoon and, and I'd love to see the big weightlifters or the, or the guys that were the bodybuilders and they would be totally cut and, and then I used to love boxing as well and guys going toe to toe and then uh, came along ESPN and they had that world's strongest man competition and that was fantastic and, and these guys would do the craziest stunts with all kinds of weight and, and they were big huge guys and now it's, now it's American Ninja Warrior and these guys are lean mean fighting machines I mean they go in this crazy obstacle course and, and they're, uh, they have this endurance uh, to go along with their strength, and it's really amazing. And, and if you go to the movies today, uh, man, it's, they, they can make anyone look strong. Uh, they've got CGI and digital ed editing and everything else, and, and I still remember the days when the Incredible Hulk was not only green, but he was Lou Ferrigno. That was the body that they used for that original series. What I'm getting at is, folks, that strength is a very real thing, and the world may try to reproduce it in other ways, but strength is, is not just one di dimensional. It really has a twofold purpose in our life. We are to be physically strong, but we're also to be spiritually strong as well. Perhaps the best example of this is Samson. Now, Samson had everything going for him. Truthfully, as ever, growing up as a little boy, I wanted to be strong like Samson, and every man wants to be strong, and, and he he was able to defeat foes when he was greatly outnumbered. And, 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 and scripture kind of leads to the fact that he was a babe magnet. And, uh, and he also had great hair. He always had a great hair day. And that was Samson. And, and he, he was physically strong. But the problem with Samson was, is the same problem that we have. That often on the outside, everything looked good and everything else. And he was physically strong. But on the inside, the spiritual side, he was weak. And that eventually cost him his life. His purpose was not completely fulfilled because he allowed his spiritual weakness to override his physical strength. You see, God has a plan or purpose for all of our lives. You hear me talk about that almost every week. But I know that when we try to do things on our own, eventually we're going to hit a wall and we're not able to get there. But you know, when I read scripture, it says that if we would humble ourselves before the Lord, He will lift us up. Well, I also read scripture, it says that when we are weak, then He is made strong. And, and, and scripture says in and of itself that we can do nothing to save ourselves. But if we would call upon the Lord, then we will be saved. You know, there is no shame as a man saying that I absolutely am totally weak. I am fallible. I, there's nothing I can do in order to earn my salvation. But I believe because of my relationship in Jesus Christ that I am made strong. I'm made strong not only for this moment, but I am made strong for eternity. You see, folks, strength is, is more than just having a great bicep or, or the ability to, uh, to push through. Strength on the, on the spiritual dimension is that which allows us to develop the character necessary to overcome the things that are certainly going to come along in our life one day or the other. So as we celebrate uh, Father's Day, we had an opportunity to hand out a golf ball to every single one of our uh, men that was there, and it just said very simply, strong. I believe God has called you to be strong today. And so perhaps you're sitting there and going, well, I'm not a father. I'm not even a man. I'm watching this. But regardless, you were called to be strong today because God has made you this way and he will empower you to do this. We just need to walk in obedience. We just need to follow his steps and he will guide our paths. 
Hey, thanks for checking us out here today on, on Takeaway. If you would do me a huge favor, would you share this? If we could get this out to 15, 20, 30 shares, we would literally reach thousands of people with this message about being strong. Thanks for checking in today. I'm Jeff Johnson. We'll see you soon.